Um, I'm here today to give you this exciting news uh, that we got a, um, a grant award to support our study that would involve uh, growing stem cell at the International St uh, Space Station. The overall goal of this is really to see whether we can grow clinical grade uh, stem cell uh, for the treatment of uh, stroke. Uh, as you know, stroke is uh, number three uh, leading cause of death in, in the uh, United States. So it's a big problem and it's a rising problem because of the prevalence of hypertension and obesity, which are risk factors for stroke. The really uh, what we want to see is whether uh, stem cell actually can grow in uh, microgravity. Um, um, we feel that uh, there, there's some evidence to show stem cell actually made grow better uh, in an environment that has low gravity. As cells grow, they are more or less in suspension uh, among each other, and the impact of, uh, impact of gravity is minimized. So we think this is very noble, and this may be a way to solve the problem of getting enough uh, stem cell for clinical uh, application. In general, based on our experience from bone marrow transplant, you need about 200 million to, to, to 500 million cells uh, to have uh, for effective uh, clinical therapy in stem cell. And to grow that amount of cells uh, in the lab is, is a huge undertaking. It requires a very complex and large facility to do that. And if we can devise a method, a way where stem cell can be grown quickly and more efficiently without having them uh, change into uh, their progeny, meaning without having them differentiate into tissue-specific cells, uh, is, would be huge. Um, also, this is a well-controlled environment that uh, the risk of uh, uh, microbial contamination would be minimum. And uh, so we think uh, um, the, uh, the environment uh, created at the International uh, Space Station uh, with minimal uh, gravity would be ideal for growing uh, cells.